I got passion. Yeah, my wife says she loves me but doesn't show it. Why, babe? Tell us why women will That's say they love. That's not a bad thing. Is you not knowing your wife's personality? Not everybody okay. goes. I know everyone is PDA. Like I group like me. I'm a touchy feely type of person. I Are you? I am. You don't touch me enough, babe. Ah, look at this one. <laughs> that means you are more touchy feely than I am. <laughs> but some people show their love in different ways. She could be like an act of service kind of person. She makes sure that you're taken care of. That's a good point. You know, yeah. she, she packs your food. She takes care of your children you guys have together. She buys you gifts here and there. Maybe you're doing... Maybe she just doesn't even know your love language. Maybe you guys have not had that conversation about bet, how you, you not. know, yeah. this is what I like. Even though I feel like some conversations are hard to hard to, to, to have, have. Mm -hmm. but it's necessary to have them. Because mm. even me, I don't. I'm not yes, a conversation so. person. I'm no, you're not, babe. Wait, wait, what? Mm. Like, I remember when you used to say, "Can we talk?" I'm like, "What?" I used to say that. Oh my god! Oh no, no, you said no, not can we talk? You be like, we need to talk. Hey, that. How we, often did I say what? that? That we need to talk makes me run. Like, How often I'm did like, I say? That? I didn't realize I did that. Oh, you did that. So then, you probably thought it was deeper than it yes! was for me. Okay. We need to talk. It's so stressful. I'm like, hey. He looks at it like, what happened? It stresses me. That's so interesting that you said that because when I use that example as when people say we need to talk, I'm only looking at it from one angle. I don't look at it from the angle of the way I use it. It has so much weight right. so it's uh, very... from my personality. Mm. <laughs> I'm so not... it's important to note that when somebody says we need to talk, right. it might not be that deep for it them. It might not be that deep. Right. But it could be that deep too. Yeah. You know? And, and you know, you know why? I have to say this. So like, I'm not a communicator, you know that, like I don't... You are now, you are. Now I am, but my initially, you, that's you, not who I what, am. What I've noticed more recently, more recent years, yeah. is that you do, you, you can say let's talk now, but you kind of wait until it's about to come Yeah, because my initial, uh, I, my, my knee-jerk reaction is not just to talk, 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 I, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. So I wait for that healthy amount yeah. and then I will say something about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember when my mom wants to talk to me, she will wake me up in the middle of the night. 2 ah, a.m. That thing is so. When, when that Milala ah, Ajoke. That Milala Ajoke. Ajoke me. Oh yeah, my favorite song. Ah! My mind will go to so many places like Kilo to Shell. I am stressed What could it be? What were you I'm scared shocked. about? You know. It could be something Because if you about, were pregnant, you would know by yourself at this point. I know. But so what could it be? What were you scared of? I don't know. Were, I think it's you must have been mom, a. Were you a bad girl? Were you causing trouble in the streets? I wasn't causing stuff? trouble. I was a gentle girl. I was very it's gentle. It's not like they can find weed in your bag no. or, ba or find condom no. in your bag. Or I remember something. one time my mom. Okay, so I was when I was going to OAU, mm -hmm. my mom woke me in the middle of night. Not your money, too, won't she? Go back to your I'm like, you woke me up for that. Maybe she was just praying for you. Yeah. In the middle of the night. <laughs> so anytime someone tells me we need to talk, mm -hmm. I it goes to the extreme for me. Mm. Like it gives me anxiety fast. I I, I prefer we ease into the talking mm. than to say oh, we need to talk. When you say we need, the weight is too is too, I, I just can't deal. Yeah. So I'm like a flight kind of person. Musalo, mm. I'm mm. out. <laughs> <Can you sue me? laughs> yeah. So, so, like um, we're saying, the woman probably have other ways that she shows that she loves you. If she does. If she no. does. I mean, I don't know. I think uh, if you are asking that, my, my wife says she loves me, but yes, she doesn't she does. show it. Okay, but doesn't show it. So, you're right, baby. You, you know, how people show love is different from people to Pretty people. Pretty different, though. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing I would tell this person to do is go back to how she showed it. No, she never should know. There's something she showed you. You missed it. That made you marry her. Oh, my <laughs> you idea. There's something. You missed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least now I, I can question you and say, then you don't know who you married. Yeah. What did she do in the beginning? That I tried what to did she now? do that showed you that mm, it's time to make a move and marry this that person? That this woman loved me. Or, what love did, or she toasted you, which is showing. Or she toasted you and proposed to you, which is most likely not, right? Oh, that right. means she showed. 
right? What was she doing, right? Because if it's that kind of person, that probably means they use their words a lot. Right. They use their words to show, I love you, I love you, and they, you know. And some people use their mouth, their word, but their actions don't match. True. Right. And some people don't use the words, but their mm -hmm. action shows that they love you. There are women, there are women, there are your eyes, you okay? Yeah. Okay? It's just the they laughing. Yeah, like okay. tears in right. my eyes. Okay. The um the 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 there are women that we love you, babe, okay babe. Alright, you know, but they don't do they're not having sex with you for the next oh! two months. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> No, that's, you know, that's, that's, yeah. uh, that's terrible. Right? I'm sorry. That's terrible. <laughs> There's a mismatch somewhere. That's where yeah, this question is coming from. There's a mismatch, yeah. Right? It's like, wait, she's running her mouth, but she's <laughs> well, not showing it. She's not showing Or vice versa, where uh, she would do it, do you some balaja? She would do it, but you are a man that enjoys when you love her, when you see a woman edifies the husband in words, right? And you really crave that you wish somebody i know it sounds needy as shit but yes. men can be emotional just it so you know needy. okay mm -hmm. it is needy behavior but it is what yeah. it is but that's your it wife is, you know you need what you need don't yeah. you yeah exactly so it's just that what she should be able to know that you like stuff like that like that's if she most people are not educated until go to go educated mm -hmm. sorry most people are not educated about that until they go educate themselves mm -hmm. and that's usually after some kind of crisis where mm -hmm. they're trying to fix it mm -hmm. and even if they taught you that in premarital counseling most people are not paying attention yes you know? not paying attention so and if they did pay attention they can't comprehend what they're hearing because they haven't been they're there not yet being tested yes yeah, so so I would just say, her, my wife says she, if she says she loves you and she doesn't show it, what ex identify what you're looking for her to show or how you want her to show. What is it that you're talking about? At least if you pick up the Five Love Languages book, yes. it will tell you the five different ways that people show love or receive mm -hmm. love, right? Mm -hmm. And and if you do that assessment, you will learn uh, a little bit more in a pragmatic, close to uh, 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 scientific way that you receive love and they say she doesn't do this for me and then you can communicate i like it mm -hmm. when you do not you don't do this for me you say i love it when you do this for me when you mm -hmm. come from that angle you're she edifying that she's it. done it before and yeah. then she will want to do more, more of it, of it. if you yeah. say you never do this she will never do it you're right yeah she will be resent the she idea that down. you just basically lied against her because she will remember that one or two times she did it and you're saying she never did it, you know. So I'll just say identify what is it that uh, uh, you're looking for. And Five Love Languages is a good way to right. find that. It's a, right. it's a book called Five Love Languages. The Five Love Languages by, I can forget his name. Just, that, go, just go download my book and it's referenced at the back of the book. And you can download the book for free. But um, yeah, so that's what I would think that is. It, it looks, but doesn't show, it show what, how. And that's the that's the actual question here. Show you love how have you identified how you like to receive love, and then communicate that. Now, in terms of communicating it, I think it's best that you learn her love language and give first. Yes, give okay. yeah. and you shall receive. It's in the Bible. Especially <laughs> that that's true. Babe. You As, give first. You give first. Like what's all this give and take stuff? You give first. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, but um, you, you if I lost my trail of thought a little bit, but well, eh? no, no, I like, <laughs> you, you, you want it's better you give first, is what I was saying. So, you need to know her love language mm -hmm. so you can give first, so that that will become leverage for you. The leverage is not like after I've given you your own love language, you give me my <laughs> that's not the leverage, okay? If she's receiving love, you'll be able to tell. And by the way, you may not need to ask again. Yeah. Just by giving first. I think it's good to actually take that. I think everyone should take that assessment test. A fact. To know your yeah. own love language. Because I feel like even some people don't know their own You know what some language. people do? They say, oh, but how do you know they start to over process the love language? How do ah. you know that they're actually accurate? What if you have trauma? Somebody asked me oh that on, my uh, God. on Clubhouse. I said, don't be don't, part of the problem we have in this lifetime now mm -hmm. is people take things too seriously. When that person asked me, I said, I, I have people in the room that actually help me too. When that person asked me, I said, I said to the person, I said, hey, there's so many questions in it that all your trauma will disappear in the middle of that question. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> That's the whole point of an assessment with an algorithm. Lord have mercy. It will spit out a love language based off of 
They ask you in negative, they ask you in the negative, they ask you in the middle, objective. When you're on the extreme of ideal, being idealistic and when yeah. you're being realistic and they mix that together, they do math and they say this is your love language. They don't just give you one love language, they give you the primary, mm-hmm. they give you the uh, a few other secondary, like mm-hmm. second, third, right? Mm-hmm. And then you're like, hmm, that's interesting. And that's then very interesting. And then you can use that as a tool to seduce your partner. You'll be connecting, you two, you'll be seeing some things. You'll be like, oh, I do do you that. Go and you discover you'll be checking some yourself, things. oh, I do yeah. that. Oh my God, like. I'll you try to remember yourself. to link it up on that here, but right. you can just go through and just go get the book and, you know, you, it's all done. Yeah, and if you know you have trauma, please start walking towards healing, okay? Yes, sir. Because this, oh, everywhere I go, all I hear is trauma, trauma, trauma. I'm like, I'm like look, I'm sure everybody has had a level of mm-hmm. trauma, yeah. right? But we have to come to a point where we start working on the healing process. Yeah. We cannot normalize trauma. Yeah. It's like everyone is trying to know. Everybody, yeah, it. like 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 all the so trauma and all the big big psychological words. Oh my god. Uh, they are oh. killing romance for you. They are. And uh, just They're making just, people just, dry. Just get to know people. Identify what you like. Like sim- let's start with simple words like like, love, enjoy, mm-hmm. vibe. So little mm-hmm. slangs here and there, here and there, right? Things like that. Well, I'm vibing with those things. I enjoy being enjoy. around this person. It's okay to enjoy. I feel good about this. I feel like, right, trauma. Like, unless you are dealing with a, a psychologist who has gone to school for seven years and they can diagnose you right now, you probably should be avoiding such words. If you're experiencing a bad psychological breakdown, you should consult the professionals, and yes. they they have the right to use those words. You don't have the right to use those words, and they're killing romance for you. Okay?